Bed Talks with Barnabas. Hey everybody, Barnabas here. Uh, today, I'm actually not under the bed. But that's not a problem, and I'm going to show you why. So I want to show you guys how to make your own plasma reflector so that the mind machine can actually bounce off of this and go back and attack the people who send it at you. So, there's a couple things you'll need for this. First things first, you need three bags like this. You need some, uh, some plastic wrap, some tin foil, a little bit of tape, and, of course, a slice of cheese. So, what you're going to do to start this, take a little square of tin foil. doesn't have to be perfect. You can see this corner's a little messed up here. Now, you're going to slide it into the plastic bag. Okay? So, we're good there. Now, what you want to do is take a piece of tape, tape it onto the bigger piece of tin foil that you have. Like this. See, see what's going on there? Alright. So next, you're going to repeat the same thing. You're going to take a piece of tin foil from the corner of the big piece. Get a plastic bag. Stick it in the plastic bag. Now this one, you're actually going to leave open. So, you're going to leave this open and then stick this bag that's hanging off from the tape into this one as good as you can. And what that's actually going to do is the tin foil in the bag is going to draw the plasma to itself. And then it'll arc to the next piece of tin foil through the plastic bag. But on its journey through the bag, it'll reverse its hoosawatsis and its gigawatts and stuff. And when it reverses, it now does the opposite of what the point of the mine machine is. So you can actually keep this nearby yourself and it'll cancel out the mine machine because whatever's, whatever the mine machine is doing to you, this is doing the reverse at the same time. So this is a substitute for a bet if you can't get one nearby at the moment. But now what you're going to do this is where the cheese comes in. Now, this is big here, because now you can send the reverse back at the people running the mine machine. So, you're going to take half of the slice of cheese, break it down the middle like so. Now, you're going to wrap one side in tape. And I actually just got it stuck to the tinfoil here. Give me a minute. Okay. Now, you see this piece of tape is all the way across the front of the cheese. So what that's going to allow you to do is get it stuck onto this plastic wrap right here, okay? See, it's just on there now. So you're going to take another piece of tin foil, just make it pretty big, something about this size, you can see that next to my face. And what you're going to do with this is you're going to ball it up. You're going to get a ball of tin foil, pretty dense, not, not super dense, but you know, about this size from how it was before. And now you're going to stick it inside of the plastic wrap with the slice of cheese, like so, like like this. Okay, now you're gonna wrap it up. Make sure that no air is getting in or out of this plastic wrap. Because what that air is gonna do is the, the mine machine is gonna send power to that tin foil and then ionize the hydrogen that's inside of it. And that's that's no bueno. And it'll, it'll mess you up, bro. So what you gotta do from there is stick this inside of that plastic bag. Now you're gonna seal it again. Don't want any air making contact with that tin foil. So, what about the other slice of cheese? That's a good question. So, what you're going to do now that you have your two plastic bags full of tin foil hanging from the big piece of tin foil and your slice of cheese is you're going to stick a piece of tape on each end of the other piece of cheese and tape these together. And if you haven't already figured it out yet, that you're basically just going to send a relay at them through the tin foil cheese panorama you have. So, as you can see, I have the, the piece of cheese with a good amount of tape on each side, wiggling there. And, um, <clears throat> I'm going to tape one side to the bag, like this, and now you have it like this, and it can wiggle. You need a good wiggle factor on this. And then, what you're going to do with this piece of the tin foil, I mean the tape, sorry, is you're going to bring it up to the tin foil, tape it to this side, and this cheese is going to act as a conductor for the relay that's going back at them through the mine machine. And this can actually cause damage to the mine machine. And obviously that's pretty good. Because you can now protect other people from it. So, here's what your final device should look like. Something like this. Let me press back up a little bit. Let's zoom out. Let's zoom out. Okay. So here, here's what you got. I have these all around my house. I feel great with them, okay? It, it really helps. And, um, 
one, one thing that's really important about this is that this only works in a certain range. So no matter where it is, it'll bounce it back at them. But if you want the protective benefits, you need these within like 10 feet of you at all times. You can't have it too far away or it's just the, the, the signal it's bouncing back is going to stop interfering with the signal that's coming from the mine machine because it's weaker. So you're going to need a lot of these. But good thing is, I mean, how much is a piece of tin foil, three plastic bags, slice of cheese and some tape? It's like nothing. So you're, you're good. That's all I want to talk to you guys about today. Uh, remember to eat a cup of dirt today. I'll tell you why the cup of dirt is important in the next video probably. And uh, I'll talk to you guys next time. Hey, guys, uh, I just wanted to make a little side note. You can't use regular cheese for this. It has to be pepper jack. I forgot to mention that the reason it conducts the plasma and leaps to the next bowl is because it contains the peppers. The reason you can't use just like a regular pepper for this is um the uh, using a whole pepper and just the pepper is too strong. It's too powerful. And if you want to make that work, you need a lot more tinfoil, but the range doesn't get much bigger. It's just the, the offensive impact gets stronger with it. So... If you want to have them for defense and offensive purposes and layer them all around your house, like I suggested, what you're going to do instead is put a slice of pepper jack cheese in there. The average slice of pepper jack cheese you get at the store is about perfect for that. They're the right distance and in the right quantity that it will conduct perfectly with the amount of tinfoil that you're using.